Omi says, I need someone to explain why this wouldn't work. Well, it's because of the way it is. Hey, pretentious engineer here. I know you didn't ask, but Homie is correct. It is because of the way it is and physics. So if we assume that this truck is bound by the assumptions of statics, we could look at the magnet and the piece of metal, and there's going to be a mutual force on each of them. So if you do a free body diagram on the magnet, you could show the force that the... Uh, metal puts on the magnet. If you do a free body diagram on the metal, you could see the force that the magnet puts on the metal. But additionally, because they're tied together or mutually grounded, they're not able to provide provide any force of any source of propulsion. You need some kind of external force in order to pull this along. Now, if the systems weren't coupled, for instance, if the magnet was rooted to the ground and then the wheels were allowed to rotate, then you could get a situation where you can pull the car forward, but you'd have to always be moving the magnet, which means you can't create like perpetual motion off a system like this. But anyway.